Thanks for joining me on this trip to Brussels, Belgium. My name's Don. In the summer of 1974, I was cycling around Europe and Scandinavia with my friend Stephen Malone. We traveled from Amsterdam to Brussels and arrived by train at Brussels Nord. From the railway stop, we cycled into the city. This map of Belgium shows the location of Brussels. And as you can see, it's not that far from England. This satellite view from Google shows the route from Amsterdam to Brussels. An excellent tourist map of downtown Brussels showing the central station and some of the major tourist sites. The city back in the early days, as this 1850 map showed, had a wall. It uh, developed as a very prosperous city by 1200 AD. I'd read quite a number of travel books about Brussels. The city looked quite interesting. During the 1950s, my parents even had a few souvenirs around the house. And some posters had caught my eye. I bought a map of Brussels. I checked out the attractions and looked at some early photographs and faded posters and postcards. I was familiar with the mannequin piss or the little boy who was peeing, which is an icon for Brussels. I was quite shocked that a important capital city would have such an icon. But it seems very popular as shown by all the tourist items. Everywhere I went I saw signs referring to the little boy. My father excited interest in Brussels through his large Belgium stamp collection, including these stamps of the 1897 exhibition. And as a history teacher, I was aware of the unfortunate history of Belgium with Germany in the First and Second World War. Here we have a picture of the Allies entering Belgium in 1918. Faded postcards around the house excited interest in Belgium. A street car at the Vain Gate very early postcards showing sites of interest in Brussels. And churches seem to be central to this city, like many medieval cities. Some engravings done in 1850 also made the city look exciting. Here's an 1850 engraving of the Prince of Orange's Palace. And this is one of the public parks. An early picture postcard done in cover. The center of justice. This is the Royal Palace. An 1850s engraving of the Royal Palace. 
extremely early photographs of the royal palace. And the royal palace in picture postcards with tram cars. Here's a more recent picture of the royal palace. An early church, but I don't know which one. Well, it's time to get moving and explore the city. We check out the metro or subway. Our first stop was the mannequin piss, the little man pissing in English. It's quite small, a tiny little bronze sculpture depicting a boy urinating into a basin. It's commonly photographed with dolls in a huge variety of costumes and is sold in most of the tourist stores. Recently, there's been some competition. Jenny Kate pissing a modern fountain with a girl. It's on the opposite side of the city. Our next stop was the Exhibition Park at Paysel. A 1958 picture postcard. There's a gigantic atom constructed for the 1958 exhibition, which you can climb up to the top of and get a good view of the city. The other site we're seeing is Mini Europe, which consists of hundreds of small reconstructions of tourist sites right across Europe. It's really quite incredible. Who needs to travel around Europe? Just come here. wall coming down in West Berlin. A castle on the Rhine, I think. And of course the Acropolis in Athens. We move on to the Royal Museum of Fine Arts. There's actually four museums, but I only get to the Royal Museum. A very early picture postcard of the Royal Museum. And here it is today. A very imposing outside. It's filled with fine artwork, including this self-portrait by Rubin. The Grand Place or Central Market Square is certainly worth visiting. It's not only got the town hall, which is stunning, but also some fairly old guild houses. A brochure advertising Grand Place. Here's the satellite view overlaid with the map showing Grand Place and the buildings. An early engraving from the 19th century. A not very clear picture postcard of Grand Place from the 1950s. And here it is today. It's absolutely stunning, particularly when lit at night. The tower climbs forever. It's not what you expect to find in a town hall. And here's Grand Place showing the central square. There's some very medieval gargoyles on the town hall, like this one. And even carvings and statues.